Hello, gang. <clears throat> Taking a break from Thousand Year Door with a uh, more Mar Mario. <laughs> but yeah, this is a hack that came out a little while ago called Mario Builder 64. It is exactly what you would imagine it to be. Checking, testing, volume test, little loud. Checking, testing, testing, burrito, monkey, monkey, uh, maybe, here, I don't know. I'm gonna say that's good for now, and if, you, if it's too loud, just let me know. But anyway, we're gonna start, I'm gonna build a level, this is real hardware by the way. I'm gonna build a level, and then we're gonna play some levels. So vanilla, medium, I'm gonna go with, uh, grassy, just basic. So this is gonna be, call it, you have to do this with the analog stick, which I don't really like. I w I'd like to be able to use the D-pad. We're gonna call this Stream Town. Okay. So you, you get plopped in here. It's a bit like Tony Hawk's Park Creator. The so level setting. A theme. Skybox, Ocean Hills, none. Wait, I can't really see the skybox. Can I like, uh... Yeah, like there, that's better. Okay, so, skybox, ocean hills, cloudy sky. I, I think I like that one, but let's let's go through all of them. I messed around a bit with this. So, I'm not going in... I'm not going in blind with this. Yeah, I think I like cloudy sky. You can also get sandstorm, rain, ashes, snow. But let's go with none for now. Level boundary. A uh, plain, valley... Chasm, a plateau, void. I think I like a valley. You know, just put that up real high there. Oh, no, 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 we want grass. You got a whole bunch of music here. I'll, I'll switch out every now and then so you don't get too annoyed. Coin star, uh, well, I can't control that because there's no coins in the level. Okay, <clears throat> so. Gonna make a stage. We're going to make a stage here. And it's called it's called Streamtown. So let me let me measure here. So I wanna go one oh no wait, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like right about here. Now you can choose. You can choose, like, what kind of material you want. So... I think I'm gonna go with stone bricks. Okay, now I'm gonna build a house. I'm gonna build a house here. Actually, maybe I want to extend it out a little bit further in the other direction. Three, four, five. Okay, yeah, yeah. Make it like this tall. Maybe like, maybe like one more. Nah, I don't think, mm, I don't know. No, nah, actually I will make it three tall. So this is a house, as you can see. Now we want the roof, right? Uh, how do I rotate this? I forgot. 
There we go. Z, -Z button. Okay. So I do this. Ah, oh God, it's in my way. Can't see. Okay, do that number. Okay, this is kind of an annoying placement for this because I can't see nothing. Uh, I'll fix the, the angles in a minute. Okay, now I think we want to have a block. We want to make it flat on top. Okay, now there's a third type of slope that I can get here. The outer corner. That should help us make this look a little bit nicer. Okay, now, oh, didn't mean to press Z. There we go. That's a nice house. Looking house I would like to say. Uh, we'll put some wood right here as to suggest a door. Do we have any glass here? I don't, I don't see any. And, uh, yeah, we want, we want some trees. Oh, wait, did I put one? I put one a little too far. Gotta make it symmetrical. And you can use that to get up on the roof here. Hey, hang on, I got, I got one more idea. We're gonna put... No, wait, hang on, how does this, how would this work? Yeah, we'll put this right here. That's the chimney. That's the house chimney, you see. Okay, now, what else? What can we do here? I mean, I can't put this in the ground. I would like to make a path, but I don't think I can do that with the way I have this level set up right now. Oh, wait, I could do a, I could do a slab. No, that's still a bit too high up. Oh, oh. And you use the D-pad to adjust your camera and everything. You know what, let's... Let's get a fence, right? And we'll... We'll put this like this. Yeah, put that there. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get creative to make this work. So I'll do this instead. Uh, we'll put... What's a coin formation here? Yeah, we'll put a coin formation here. Five coins leading to the house. You can get a few there. And then on top of the house, there's gonna be a red coin, right? Put it, put it on the chimney so it's nice and visible. And we'll, uh... You know what, we'll put a couple coins up here too. You know, just to give the player something to do when they get up here. And I think this... ...back here... ...is a good spot for a Goomber. So, I'm gonna put another red coin back here. Cause, you know, if you look behind the house, give you a reason to go back behind the house, you know what I mean? So, you go back behind the house, you find the second red coin. But we still got a lot more level to go. I maybe shouldn't have made it medium, I don't know. So, I mean, can I really just not make a path of any sort without having to, like, redo the whole thing? Yeah, I, I think not. So, I'm gonna make this here. So, if you go a little bit out... <laughs> You know, you know, I have an idea. I have an idea. You could probably wall off the area. Yeah, the thing about the performance is this this game... This runs a lot better on emulator than it does on real hardware. 
I'll just tell you that now. Wait, hang on, I gotta... Yeah, do that. And then we get the slab. Return the slab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, I think it's about time we change the music, so we'll... We'll see what else we got. Oh yeah, I want coin star. No, wait, still not enabled. Maybe you gotta wait till you put a hundred coins in there. So, you got your Mario 64 stuff. Yeah, you got, like, the whole Mario 64 soundtrack here. But, you also got, uh... The music from this guy's hack, which I've never played, but I had it suggested to me once, I think. Never say never. Uh, you got music ports here. Mario Sunshine music. Galaxy music. A lot of galaxy music, really. Got Waluigi pinball because of course you do. Yeah, Mario RPG. Paper Mario. Hmm, this is a little familiar, ain't it? Hello, Zeal. I think some of the notes are a little wrong. <laughs> It. We'll play this one for a little bit. But anyway, this is called Stream Town, right? Which I named, you know, just because it's the stream. But, but we can make that title also quite literal. This bridge might be a little too steep. <laughs> So, you go, you can go up the bridge. Yeah. No, wait, that's the wrong type of... Wait, did I just put slope on there twice? I did. I did, I put slope on there twice. We don't want- we won't- we don't want slope two times. That's just- that's just plain redundant, if you do- if you do ask me. Okay, now for some water. Now for some water. So, I think it would make sense for the stream to go like, maybe like over here. Hang on, actually I want I want one more out. Yeah, because cause like I said, I, I can't mess with the ground beneath here too much without changing up the level entirely, so we're just gonna work around that. Okay. So I think it's five wide, so like this here. Gotta fill it in. We don't gotta- we don't gotta fill bucket. So we just gotta do this the old-fashioned way. You get to look at some cool dithering, though. Alright, good, good. Now, just gotta... Wall it off here. We'll wall it off with some grass.
Yeah, and then there's the stream. The eponymous stream of the village. <laughs> These are grid lines and not horrendous seams. Yes. So I think over here, we could maybe like have like a stone Luigi. Let's see. Yeah, like right here. That the you know, that the player can jump on. You know, this might be a good spot for a blue coin. Oh, blue coin switch. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, that might that might be good actually. Yeah, like do this. Three blue coins right here, and then then you got the switch. Like, we'll just put it right here, next to the coins. It might be too easy, I don't know. Okay. So, I think there needs to be some sort of enemy here, on the bridge. I don't know who it should be, though. You know what, does a bully react when it goes in the water? Hang on. Let, let's let's test for a second. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, you can also just get him down there, which is not ideal. Just played a level with 64 stars yesterday. I think I do have one of those on my SD card right now. Okay, no, the bully, the bully does not care about water. So, I think a different enemy is in order. Oh, okay, you know what? Actually, actually put put a skeeter on on the on the water. I think that would be good. So, <clears throat> hmm, maybe a thwomp would be all right. I don't know. There's many. There's many options here. There, oh, there's also motos. Yeah. So if you don't know, this guy's a scrapped enemy from Mario 64. Let's see. What do you What do you got, motos? Okay, motos. Oh no, motos. So he, he's sort of like a Chuck yeah, except not. Honestly, I think this guy's cool. They should have put him... Oh, oh, he throws you off the bridge. <laughs> he throws you off the bridge. He's like the bridge goblin. The troll underneath the bridge. Oh, no! Motos! Oh, also, there's water over there. There's water I accidentally placed over there. Okay, Motos. Motos. Motos, I want to see if I can kill you. I need an enemy that can be killed. Okay, okay. Motos does not like the water, so... You know what? I think Motos might be a good fit for this. He might be a good fit for the troll goblin. Tro uh, the, the troll goblin, I say. As if that makes any sense at all. Okay, 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 okay. I have more ideas. I have more ideas. So what I think I want to do... Wait, that doesn't make any sense. The Skeeter was on land. Oh, yeah, that is a problem. I think I have a way to fix that though. I think I can I think I can make that better if you give me a second But first I'm gonna do this Don't worry don't worry I can fix it I can fix it Yeah, I wanna- I wanna have a tunnel over here. 
when I have like a little cave tunnel. Oh no, I'm up in the sky! Okay. Is there any texture that's just like black? Because I think that would be nice. No. I I don't don't I do not think that there is no. Unless you maybe do like a custom theme, which is a thing you can do in this game, but it's a little weird. It's a little weird. I haven't experimented too much with it. Okay, so I'm just- I need to make this a little thicker, I think. Yeah, like maybe about here. So, let's do that. No, I, I don't want to use the D-pad. I want rocks still. I want to use the shoulder buttons. Okay, fill that in. Ah, oh, crap, I got rid of the water by mistake. That's not what I wanted to do. But it's alright, it's alright, we'll make it through this. Okay, okay. So, here's like the little, the little cave thing. The little tunnel. Yeah. This reminds me of Create a Park and Tony Hawk. Yeah, exactly. I've heard a bunch of people say that, and I too have said it. Hang on, what what are how are we doing here? Let's change the music again. Oh. Slight spoiler. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Mario Party. Now, I don't think there's any way to do... Is there any way to do upside down slopes? I don't think so. Wait, wait, maybe. If you press up on the D-pad. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, because I, in my opinion, that looks, that looks a lot better. Except for the part where it's like, <laughs> exposed. Might wanna, yeah, take a chunk out of that. Take a bite out of crime. Kinda hard to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, wait, that, that looks way better. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That looks pretty good, I think. So, obviously, we wanna put a reward for going in there. And then, if you go on top, we'll have a line of coins for you to collect. Okay, now, let me get rid of this water so that Miles can sleep tonight. Okay, so we got that. You know, this is looking pretty good. Oh, wait, hang on. Because I said I would do something about this. I didn't even realize that was there. You literally said that, you know, you were waiting for your results. Yeah, so here, this is how we'll- this is how we'll keep the Skeeter inbound. Ah, oh, crap, I hate this. <laughs> but yeah, here's how we'll keep the Skeeter inbound. I hope it's- I hope this level won't get too laggy. There's probably some optimization that can be done in this hack. And yeah, I know about the blue coin. I'm gonna- I'm gonna fix it. Just 
put a no skeeting allowed sign on land. Of course, why didn't I think of that? Okay, yeah, so th this works out okay, because I actually do want a hole in here. Yeah, so like that. So, I don't know, maybe if the Skeeter finds its way all the way over here, then we'll have a problem, but... For now, I'm just gonna hope that that is not what happens. Hmm, so now I need to figure out what I'm doing now. I need to figure out what I am doing. No way, I don't want- I don't want reinforced box, that is actually the opposite of what I want. Okay, okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, this... This is the stage, right? This is like the gazebo. And then we'll have some poles here. Mario will be able to climb them, but that's- that's okay. Now, you know, actually, it would make more sense for... the back here to be solid, I think. Yeah. Got tiles. No, you know, actually, actually... It would look better, I think, if it was half size. Okay, I'm gonna change the music again, because Yoshi's driving me insane. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. Oh, what was that? Okay, yeah, so we'll do a slab instead. Yeah, this this conversion might need a little work. That that one part do not sound so good. <laughs> Actually, you know, it kind of looks like a shop a little bit. But yeah, we'll- we'll get a tile back here. Can you buy a red coin from this shop? Probably! Knowing how I've been making this. So there is actually... Something you can do here that I think I will do because I think it would be cute. You can make uh, an NPC. So we'll get a toad. Uh, rotate the toad. Toad to Tate. So let's see. Greetings. Yeah, trouble. Warning, keys, mystery. Tricks. Oh yeah, it's telling it's telling you like stuff you can do. But no, I just want him I just want him to just talk to you, say hello. And now I have another idea that I can do. I, I'm pressing the wrong buttons every single time, but that's okay. Oh, I thought there was a thing. There's a thing I could use, but you know what? I still, I still have ideas. I still have plans. Yeah, yeah. And now, I can get a vertical slab and do this, and now I got some, some seats. You 
Yeah, so you can check it out. You can check out the stage. Now here's... I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something here. So, get the bricks, right? And I'm gonna make it to where... You like wall jump to get on top of here, right? I, I don't think this is aligned. It's gotta be aligned or else my OCD is gonna kill me. Yeah, like... Your wall jump. Oh, oh, but we can, we can have a double whammy because if you look... If you look behind the wall, there's a red coin back there. And you, you know what, you know what, you know what? I think this is a good place for a star to be. And then... Oh, I got rings. Arrows. Arrows are not bad. Uh, I don't know if Mario can collect these. Ah, oh, you wait, you can't align them. So I'm going to have to pull a little sneaky here. <laughs> the coin trying to pretend that it's part of the team here. Alright. So there's a whole lot of area over here where nothing's going on. So, okay, here's what, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Wait, hang on. Actually, I might be able to get a more appropriate, like, tile here. No, not, not, not really. There's no, like, grass without dirt here. You'd have to, like, custom create that, I think. Which, it's, it's far too late for me to be doing that now. So, you know what, this is over here. Dude, this is, this is the graveyard. This is where all the dead people is buried. No, wait, hang on. I got a better, I got a better, I got a better idea. And better is in air quotes. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, I definitely want to have, you know, uh, uh, some coins over here. No, nah, this, this actually looks like crap. I don't like it. <laughs> but at least I got to pull that joke. Oh, you know, you know what? You know, I, I have an idea. I have an idea for over here, right? We're going to have... Oh, right over here. gonna have a fountain yeah and I think this is good for more coins to be to be here oh and if and and uh, yes yeah, so on top of the fountain is a red coin that you must collect Yes, it's all coming together now. I think there probably needs to be another house. Like, realistically, there would be more than one house in this town.
<laughs> Unless it's one of those towns that ain't big enough for the two of us. Except, see, the thing is, this house, you will actually go inside. This is one of them actually go inside houses. Crap, the slab. Wait. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now the slab is aligned. Yeah, so you can actually... Well, actually, we just want probably bricks for that. Yeah, so the, the doorway would be like this. Ignore the fact that his ground, his floor, is grass. That's not important. No, you know, you know what, you know what, you know what. This, you go in, right? Wait, how we how we doing on uh, resources here? It says we're all right. Ah, yeah. See, see, see. Yeah, now you can have the coin star. Gonna change the music again. Yeah, there we go. Getting getting a little stuttery, I must admit. Okay, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now I gotta make the roof. Yeah, it gets a little choppy if you look that way. Just don't look over there. Make a 1,000 coin level. I don't know if there's enough space for that. Oh, oh, okay. So, you go, you go in. Oh, wait, need this. Yeah. But see, this is no ordinary house, my friends. This is no ordinary house. This is prison. There is a monkey in the prison. And that is peculiar. And this will be where the other star is. Yeah. You'll need the vanish cap to get through here. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a ring of coins right here. Yeah, see, so you run around and collect them. Hmm. It's not quite symmetrical, I don't think, which is gonna bother me, but I can't. I don't. I don't have it in me to fix that right now. Okay, okay. Now more wall jump shenanigans, right? You use that to get up to the top. Not that top, that's too far. So I think what I wanna do is have a moving platform now. 
where are those? They, oh, it's right here. So yeah, you, you put it over here. And then it's gonna take you on a bit of a ride. Gonna take you over here. Then over here. And then finally, it's gonna take you up a bit. And you will see why. Okay, so we're gonna want something to actually deal with here. Yeah, so we're gonna do- we're gonna pull like a hazy maze cave here. Where you gotta jump over this. You know what? There's also going to be a line of coins on here. And, and, I keep forgetting the controls. There's gonna be a bullet bill right about here. Or maybe here. Nah, no, actually it's gotta it's gotta be aligned with this, I think. Never mind. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway. There's gonna be a floating island. Yes. Now we need the upside down slope. Wait, actually, actually we need the corner slope, I think. Can I like flip that? Yes. What am I looking at here? I think this is what I want. No wait, no wait, I'm... Hang on, what am I doing? No, I don't think that- that's not what I want at all. Well, and that, that just plain doesn't look right. <laughs> that just plain does not look right. I'm just gonna assume this is what I want. Something like that. Oh no, that looks re <laughs> it looks really bad, I think. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Okay, but there's gonna be another star up there.
Oh, can't see. Can't see nothing. Hmm, how do I, how would I want to do this? Oh, like that. That's right. And then we got to do this. Fill it in. Can't see. Can't see nothing. And we still need somewhere for the red coin star to be, so I'm gonna put that over here. Okay, now we really just need something right here. Something to fool with here. Can you put a cannon down? I don't think you can put a cannon down. I don't think that's a thing in this game. Oh, yeah, hazard. Yes. That's a good idea, my friend. But what could it possibly be? The only thing I can think of is lava. I don't know if there's any, like, spikes or anything. I don't think Mario 64 had any of those. I mean, there's the, ba there's the Bowser bomb. Oh, yeah, we gotta... We gotta figure out where, where Mario is gonna spot. <laughs> God, my nose. <laughs> I think making Mario spawn in the corner right here would be good. Or maybe, uh... Maybe, like, facing this way. <laughs> you know what? The Bowser bomb thing is stupid, but I kind of want to do it anyway. So we're just gonna build a little wall here. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. But, if you go to the corner... If you can make it to the corner, there's a star over here. Oh, you know what, you know what, fire spinner might be good. But the Bowser bombs are funnier, so... <laughs> this would probably lag the crap out of the game. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we might have to be more economical with this. Where am I? I have- I have wrapped around the map. <laughs> yeah, this might not be the best use of game resources right here. But you know what, we'll just- we'll just throw a couple enemies over here. Like a womp. Oh wait, no, you know what, actually, actually... There's something good I could do. There's a something good I could do. I can make like a stage here. 
I mean, not like a stage stage, but like... I don't know how big this ought to be. Yeah, you can, you can tell the game... ...starting not to like all this. But listen, I got- I got an idea. Okay, so here... ...we put... You know what, let's put King ba -bomb. Put him there. <laughs> I'm so full from Bowser bombs, yum. So he has a star. Honestly, yeah, we might wanna we might wanna get rid of the Bowser bombs. Well, we can keep a couple of them. But it might be it might be a bit too much. Because we are playing this on real hardware right now. You could put lava. Yeah, probably. D which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Hang on, where is the lava? Oh, or can I not put lava? Because I'm not... I am not a seeing it. You could... It might be you can only have water or lava. Lava is a thing. It's one of the blocks you- Oh, right, 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 right. The, it's under, like, materials for the bricks, right. Right. So, yeah, we'll have- we'll have lava here instead. Like I said, it don't make no sense at all. Don't make no good sense that this town will have lava in the middle of it. But it's a Mario game. You'll get over it. Still a little choppy, but... I mean, I don't know, it's kind of just lagging placing it. Once you, like, stop placing it, it's mostly okay, I think. The town lava pit. I am above the clouds. Yeah, so... And, you know, there's... <laughs> There's a spot for some coins, so I think I will take advantage of that. I would still like a few Bowser bombs. Yeah, we can we can still have Bowser bombs. We can still have a couple. There's also note blocks, which were very much not a thing in Mario 64. So what we'll do is this. We'll have Bowser bombs right there, so you're encouraged to do this the main way. You're you're encouraged not to cheese it. That said, this might be a little bit of a difficult jump, but we'll find out. Honestly, this little cave is a little empty, so I might put I might put a flamethrower in here. That's pointed the wrong way. The bridge could probably use some upside down so you know what? You got a point. That would make it look a lot better. Because this was back before we knew what we know now. Thing is, the water is here, so I don't know how well that's gonna work. Wait, no, no, it works just fine. Game's like sure. Oh, you know what? You know what else? You know what else? There's a red coin under the thing. I don't know how many red coins I put down. 
Okay, so I feel like we're we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm a, I want to put. I don't know if Toad would be floating here. But I feel like he, he, he does need a crowd. But yeah, it's it's it just needs a little bit more, I think. Just a little teensy bit more. And then I think we can call it we can call it a day. Oh, there's nothing up here. So we probably ought to put something on top of the, the jail here. Oh, I forgot to put a vanish cap. That's right. So here's what you'll do. Here's what you'll do. The vanish cap will be over here. It'll be like, let's put it on the fountain, right? So you gotta grab it from the fountain and then run over there. Now, I think we could maybe just make do with placing some trees and enemies, right? So... So we'll just, we'll place some enemies. Like a Goomba right here. Like a tree over here. Tree or two. You know, just to... Just to give you the, the player a little something to look at. It shouldn't come at too much of a cost, because the trees are just like, you know, flat. You have an idea? Okay, let me hear it. What you got? Actually, I think I want to make this a little bit wider, make it easier to get in there. Put dead trees next to the lava. Oh, that's good. That's good. That is actually real good. Different kinds of trees, too. Yeah, that's good. That is good stuff. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'll just place a few more enemies. And I think we're good. I think we have a level here. You know what, let's put a heave-ho down here, just- just for the jolly hell of it. Just- <laughs> Just for the sake of it. You know, I think- I think over here could use a tree or two. All right, just need just need something right here, I think, and then we'll mostly be good. You know what? I'm gonna put a Womp here. No, not King Womp, just regular Womp. I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one here, and we'll put one in this corner over here. Okay, I think that is all we really need. I mean, how many coins do I have in this level? Does does anybody- does anybody know? Honestly, I kind of like this song for the level. A hundred and twenty coins, okay. Oh, a tree on the floating island? Yeah, that's a good idea. But yeah, I'll try to put this up for download in my Discord server and probably on the website. I don't know, why not? But yeah, it does- it does look a little barren up here, does it? <laughs> oh, delightfully devilish, Seymour. <laughs> you 
You know what? You know, I'm gonna have a different type of tree up here to show that it is a different kind of place. Now, you know, you know what? Just, just one tree. Just one. Where should I put that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, right there is okay. Actually, I think I want maybe one more enemy over here. So you know what? Womp! It's your turn. Alright, let's let's play test this sucker. Okay, it, the frame rate seems like it's dipping a little bit, but not too bad. It's it's playable. Okay, get down there. There we go. Okay, if you look at like this, yeah, it kind of starts to dip a little bit. You can mitigate this, however. Oh, yeah, little chunky. Monkey chunky hunky. Okay, Motos goes into the river. A blue coin comes out, grab that. Okay, does this actually hurt? Yes, it does, okay. Just, I needed to make sure. I need, oh, why is it, why is it chunking down there? Oh, he got up on the fence. He got up on the fence. <laughs> you know what, whatever, I'm leaving it. I am leaving it. Okay, now is this at all reasonable to try and get Let's, let's find out. I mean, it is for me. Here we go. I can make that happen quite easily. Oh. Okay. Oh, he actually knows when you're on the arena here. So wait, wait, if I jump off... If I go, like, out of the realm. If I exit the king's realm, what will he do? Yeah, okay, he, he won't go that. Can I get him in the corner? Will he fall off the corner? Uh, seems not. Mario, I have no reason to be in conflict with you. Let's fight anyway. Ooh, ooh. He always does this thing like he just he's razor focused you gotta like jump a couple times to to get him off your scent And yep, okay star number two Grab that. Here we go. All right, come here, Mr. Womp. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't kill him. Square shadow. Very nice, very good. Yeah, if you look- if you look over there, it gets a little laggy. Aw, oh, crap, crap. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, can you like- Okay, no, Mario refuses to, like, wedge himself in there. He just stays on the ledge, so that's good. I was worried about that. Okay, now let's do the island star. I meant to put something up on the roof. Oh no, it just goes through! Okay, so that's something caught by the playtesting. Okay, you gotta jump the bullet bill though.
Oh, uh, uh oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> we. Okay, so the real trick to get these coins is that you want to come up here like this. Yeah, and this guy's just here. Just for the sake of it. You could probably cheese the lava star from the floating island. Oh, you're right, you're right. The question is, do we allow that? Do we- do we want that fixed? And yeah, I think the 100 coin star is... You know, difficult enough to get. I mean, this isn't gonna be a super difficult level because, I don't know, I just don't tend to make those half the time. I need to, I need to like, to start making harder stuff because I feel like sometimes I make boring things and they're just like too easy. Because I'm scared of making things unreasonable. Okay, so you kind of gotta, you kind of gotta, like, do something to get up here. This is probably one of the harder things in the level, because, yeah, it's, it's high up, so, you gotta, okay, so that's six red coins. The star will spawn all the same, but I wonder if I should put maybe two more. I could put one on top of the jailhouse. Okay, yeah, so this is- this is totally reason- Oh, but- Oh, I realize a problem. You could absolutely get stuck in here. So I'm definitely gonna want to... I'm definitely gonna want to place a vanish cap inside the cell. Which, again, you know, lore-wise, that doesn't make a lot of sense, because the monkey probably could just escape. But, you know what? We'll be fine. In the name of game design. Okay, so... A couple things we want to fix. Yeah, put one of these in here. So that's good. Okay, we want two more red coins. So I'm gonna put one up here. Just, yeah, just right there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, put one- put one here. Put one here. You know, if I could be a if I wanted to be a jerk, I could just do this. And I think I do, so I will. <laughs> okay, but we need to- We need to actually raise this a little bit. Kind of misaligned with the grid, but you know. Okay, so. And yeah, red coin right there. Uh, we need to make sure that this is good. So let's let's check it out. Yeah, that's fine. I, li I like that. That's pretty good. Now, can I get that red coin over there? Yeah, that... That might be a tough one. Oh, no! I don't know. Do we want it to be tough is the thing. Do we want that red coin to be that tough to get? Can you, like, long jump over there? No, you cannot. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. Hang on. You can do this. Cause it's right above King Babam here. Yeah. 
You think the red is fine? Okay. So, am I forgetting anything? Was there anything else I needed to do here? Or are we good? I think we might be good, actually. So yeah. Level settings. Uh, save and quit. Okay, so I'll try to upload that later, but now we'll, we'll play some levels. I don't know if we're gonna beat any, any of them, all of them, anything. But since Zeal's here, let me get one of their levels. This is Zeal, right? Yeah. So it's a little laggy. It's a little bit laggy. Hang on, we'll collect coins and, and free up some <laughs> free up some polygons. Oh, is the how is the music like really really loud? Hang on, let me let me let me see here. Check, check, testing. Uh, not like, like overbearingly, but a little bit. That's just how the game is, honestly. Okay, but hold on, hold on. You gotta do a... It sounds overdriven. Yeah, it sounds like that to me too, actually. So I think that's just the game. Which I have just lost, and so have all of you. If you look, if you look this way, it's not as bad. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, this runs a lot better on emulator than real console. I hope they find some ways to like optimize it. I don't know if any actually exist. I could always revisit some of these levels on actual... on an emulator. Uh-oh, Slippy. Slippy's dead. Yeah, see, there's real hardware compatible, and there's real hardware actually good. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It's... Because, <laughs> like, a lot of these levels are, are a little... A little slow. Oh, yeah, visually, you did a very good job. Maybe too good, maybe too good a job. Because the Nintendo 64 is crying out in agony. Oh, no, no, I wanted to do a long jump. No, that, well, that's good too. Ow. Looking forward to, uh, Kaze's new hack. Because that's gonna be real hardware compatible, and he's confirmed it runs at least 40 frames per second most of the time, which is very playable. That just reminded me of that. That's gonna be cool, though. Yeah, return to Yoshi's Island. It's a shame he probably won't be able to reach 60 FPS, but... Like I said, considering the original Mario 64 runs at, like, 30 on real hardware... That even- even managing to, like, double the visuals and still have a frame rate gain is very impressive. Honestly, I wonder if he'd be willing to lend some of his optimizations to this project. That might- that might help out a lot. We 
because he, he managed to get some pretty big improvements in this game. See, my main thing is I'm wondering how much culling is being done. Because, like... Okay, obviously a square has, like, six sides. But I'm wondering, like, when the side is not visible, is this hack culling it? Because that would definitely help a lot. I think it is. But there are definitely some areas that people have made in this where I'm like... If this had been, like, modeled from scratch, it would not run this bad. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I'm not much of a Nintendo 64 hacker man, so... I mean, the guy who made this is bound to know better than me, but... Yeah, it, it just... It's a, it just stinks a little bit that it, that it runs like it does. But hey. Maybe, maybe this is just the best you can really hope for. I mean, the, I, the Ice Palace probably isn't helping with all the transparency. Because that's one where it's like, okay, how, how good are you going to be able to do? Oh, there's some note blocks over here. Neat. Yeah, like I said, these are not in original Mario 64, if you don't remember. I, oh, ow. Oh, this is like a mesh, not a, a pole. I thought I could climb that. Yeah, just turn away from the ice palace and you'll be okay. Oh, hey, that, that, that made the little bouncy popper. That's really cool. Props for thinking of that. Oh, and it's bouncing on the note blocks. That's really nice. Very, very cool little challenge. And then you got the... The chili bully over here. He is not much of a challenge, but you know, you know. Yeah, see, if you just go in the corner, if you go in the corner and just don't look at anything, then it runs. It runs great. Oh, there's there's a star up there. <laughs> Replay the YouTube bot at two times speed. <laughs> Oh, uh, I am- I am- how am I not dead right now? How- how am I still alive? Hang on, hang on. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the camera's not supposed to do that. Camera's not supposed to do that. And the 100 coin star. I think- how many stars are in this level? How many have I gotten? Because I wasn't intending on getting all of them, but I might. I might just... Um, five out of seven. But I'm missing two somewhere. I don't- I don't think I ever got all the red coins, that's probably- No, no, there's eight. Well, you can have more than eight, actually, in this. Staring in the corner to, to increase frame rate works in real life, too. Sometimes. Sometimes. It's like- it's like when you feel nauseous, so you have to, like, lay down with your eyes closed. You're increasing the frame rate in real life. Do you guys ever, like, watch that video where that guy's talking about, uh, Goldeneye? How sp a speedrunner discovered that, like, yeah, the game is faster if you just stare at the ground the whole time, and the speedrunners are just like... Uh, but I'd really rather not do that. <laughs> oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, you can put them in the blocks. Nice, nice. Okay, Mario clipped off and then back on the platform. Speaking of, uh, speedrunners, did you also all watch the summoning salt- not summoning salt. Uh, the Panenkoic video on the invisible walls. The four-hour Panenkoic video. I feel like it's supposed to be pronounced Panenkake, but I, I don't know how that works. 
I still haven't seen it. Yeah, me, I was, uh... I was enraptured by that, but as I also told <laughs> a Discord server, I have the Mario 64 autism, so... I, I think I already did this. I think I already did this. I don't think this is the star I was missing. Yeah, it, it's one of those things where you're like... It's a shock this game... It's a shock this game works as well as it does, because... Like Mario 64... Not Mario 64. Super Mario World before it... It's kind of held together with glue and duct tape. But sometimes... Strong duct, duct tape is really all you need. Yeah, I definitely did this. Uh... If you could give me a hint, that would be appreciated. Is it that? Cause I- Oh wait, 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 no, I see it, I see it. I never did this. I never finished this. It sucks though that these guys are just ever so slightly too tall to get on top of with a regular jump. Which is not something you tend to have to worry about in the base game, but... We are in level maker territory, ROM hack world. Yeah, there it is. I thought as my Oh, no, that's not a long jump. Mario, what are you doing? Don't fall off the platform. Okay. Okay, that's all of them. That's all of them. Okay, good level. Good level. Sorry, I played it in slow motion. This was one of the featured levels I saw. This this one runs pretty good. Like, the level of detail is lower. Also, welcome to Banland. No idea how they got Minecraft in here. I don't know if that's some kind of secret or what. <laughs> some kind of like, like, if you enter the Konami code, you can get Minecraft. Okay, if you- if you stand up here, it, it runs pretty bad. Yeah, no idea how Minecraft happened, because I- I looked- I looked at the custom textures, Minecraft is not one of the options. Okay, so there's- there's a few camera angles where the- the frame rate gets poopy, but not- not too many. How many stars are in it? Five stars. I played a little bit of this one on my own time, just to get a feel for this game. I mean the hack, not Mario 64. I, I should hope I have a feel for Mario 64 at this point. And I like to think that I do. Look at that. You see that wall jump? Would a man who does not have a feel for Mario 64 do something like that? This is a Rayman song. Yeah, it's from Rayman 1. Which I ought to stream one day. I haven't touched any of the Rayman series on this stream. <laughs> Might be fun. I, I, re I remember people saying Rayman 1 is hard as hell, though. Been a long time since I played it. I remember getting fairly far. The question is, just what version of Rayman 1 would I play? Because there's like 500 of them. First time I, I played it on the DSi. I don't know if you guys knew, but there was like a DSi port of that game. You remember DSiWare? I remember thinking that was the coolest thing ever. Like, oh man, I could download games onto my DS. You had that one too? Nice, nice. I'm going to long jump. I'm going to be very risky here. Oh, okay, well I didn't quite hit my target, but I didn't die. I didn't take damage. And I also did not hit the ground, so... That's a victory of some sort, I suppose. Yeah, if you look at the whole level at once... If you look at the whole level at once, it doesn't like that so much. It's not too fond of that. Oh, hang on. There's a trick I want to see if I can do. I, I want to see if I can... Because I, I learned about this, like, watching a Simple Flips video. I want to see if I can do it. Oh, I almost did it. Not quite. 
But you can, like, backflip off of a surface and do a, a wall kick that way. Very advanced movement technique. Hang on, I want to try it one more time. Oh, you're probably supposed to wall jump up here. Well, well, that time I my curve was just bad. Uh, you know what? I don't care anymore. <laughs> let's let's just not and say we did. Did you watch any of the recent ROM hack competition from Simple Flips? Uh, the troll hacks? Is that the one you're talking about? Or they're like the slide... The slide hacks. The slide one. No, I haven't seen any of the slide videos. Oh, there's stuff back here. Anything in here? In this alcove? Doesn't seem to be. But yeah, no, I haven't seen any of the slide hacks. I mean, I will say, uh, credit or, you know, maybe shout outs to that man for keeping the, uh, the Mario 64 hacking scene alive and flowing. Oh, there we go. There's the last one. A lot of hacks are made in his name. And I appreciate that they are so plentiful now. And real hardware compatible, which I, which I don't think was his doing. I think that was the decompilation. But still good. Okay. Yep, there we go. That's it. I love collecting stars. It is the most fun you can have. Okay, Bob on Battlefield, but from memory. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. This is Bob on Battlefield, but... But look at this. Look at his frame rate. Look at it. Look at it! Look at it! Yeah, this, this area right here is a little bit smaller than it may have originally been. M that might not be to scale. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! So I missed! The latest level I DM'd you the other day might run a little better, but I'm not sure. Uh, you'll, you'll probably have to remind me which one that was, because I downloaded all of them, but I forget the order in which I downloaded them. But yeah, if it- if this is something you guys enjoy seeing, I could possibly, like, <laughs> you know, play a couple levels on emulator where they play better. But, you know, it's not every day you get, like, a cool console-compatible hack like this, so I wanted to see. I wanted to show you. Because, you know, any old, any old Rube can play on an emulator. Only Dustin VG. That's, that, that doesn't open the gate at all. Only Dustin G, VG will show you <laughs> the, the pure console experience of 15 or less frames per second. Because I bought an EverDrive, baby! How do you get to the top of this mountain? Just don't look at anything. Do not look at anything. Looking at stuff is for people on emulators. This is real hardware, where the first rule is don't look at anything. I don't think- I also don't think you can place teleports in this, at least not yet. I'm curious to see what updates this might get.
Weeping Angel, that shit. That episode, except it's don't look at anything. Look at anything and you're dead. <laughs> Ow. I, I do like that you can set up custom Koopa the Quick races, though. That's pretty cool. I don't think I will be running up this mountain a second time, however. Oh, er, 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 I saw a From Memory Womps Fortress that was crazy spot on. Yeah, I, I just saw this one. Admittedly, I didn't spend too long scouring the level list, because I knew we wouldn't be able to play all of that. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not. <laughs> Let's not go to Babam Battlefield recreated from memory. It is a silly place. I also got K's levels in here. My friend K, but I forgot which ones they are. Oh, uh, there's Rico Harbor reimagined. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> but hey, it's Mario Sunshine. This is probably how Mario Sunshine would run if <laughs> it was ported to the N64. How did I break both of those? How did I not break that one? Panin, can you explain to me what was happening there? Can you explain to me why Mario did not break the box? I would like to know. Inquiring minds would like to know. Because I know, of course, Panin watches my videos. Of course he does. If he didn't, I, I would- I would cry. But yeah, pretty spot on. Rico Harbor. Wish it ran better, but it doesn't. So that's where we're at. Even got the crane. Oh no, I'm going to die. <laughs> you know, they say... Before you die, your life flashes before your eyes at 5 FPS. You know, something that, something else they could do is maybe they could have an option for a frame skip. I don't know if that would work. I mean, it, it would still be lagging. It would still, like, be very choppy, but... But it might be better than slowing down, I don't know. I know it's possible. I don't know if they know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. But it is in some way possible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. No, I'm fine. I'd like to- I'd like to get one star, but I probably will not. I could have killed King Womp. But I wanted to do this. This seemed more interesting. Oh no! Okay, yeah, it's it's Jover. It's Jover. Okay, let's 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 leave. Okay, so what what was your other level you said? It was uh Sunken Kingdom Stars. Now where is that? I think it was with your other level. Sunken Kingdom. Sunken Kingdom, where is it? There we go. Let's see. Does this run good? Does this run at all good? Uh... uh it, it, it could run worse. And this is based on, like, the other game style that he threw in here. Based on his own hack. And you got the sewer theme from Thousand Year Door. Top 10 best theme in all of video game. I missed that coin. Eh. Oh, there's a hole. 
I don't think that was an intentional hole, I think. I think that was... You forgot to put the, the thing there. Anything in here? Nope. Another thing that I've been meaning to do, and I've just never gotten around to it... I've been meaning to play the latest version of, uh, Chaos Edition on real hardware, because... It's cool. And it's funny. But, obviously, as I've said before, this is not gonna be the last you see of Mario 64 this year, probably. Because I was intending... I was intending... Oh, this is a new enemy. Yeah, it's the Fire Bro. I was intending on playing 64 DS sometime this year, because it's going to be its 20th anniversary. Which makes me age rapidly into dust every time I say it. Yeah, I don't think 64 had any, like, Hammer Bros anywhere. Or Fire Bros, any of the variants. But yeah, very, very well, like, visually constructed levels. You definitely are doing that quite wellly. Quite goodishly. Oh, uh, switch. I pushed it, don't know what it do. Makes the frame rate die. Might be a checkpoint. I can get back up here easy, uh, which I'm probably gonna need at this rate. Badge it. Oh, can't see. Pull him away. <laughs> I am cutting it so close with this. <laughs> can't see the pole. <laughs> yeah, get punched. Get punched. This is how I play Smash Brothers, by the way. Just, just attack in the vague direction of the enemy. Okay, and there's a star up here. Oh, <laughs> the game does not like this camera angle at all. Let's go in the tunnel. Wait a minute, is the rain just like... Is the rain just like a texture, or like an animation that's applied to the screen? That wouldn't surprise me, but I just never noticed before. Oh! Mario Cam might help a bit for lag. Yeah, maybe. Ah, the metal vanish cap, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, Mario Cam, baby! Mario Cam! <laughs> Super Mario 64. The best camera of all time. Oh, I ran out. Speaking of time, I ran out of it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The castle, the castle in the middle, it, it don't like it. It do not like it. It makes the Nintendo 64 pee itself. Which I did not know was possible. I did not know the Nintendo 64 had a bladder, but apparently it does. And the compy just peed my carpet. Oh, star radar. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty neat. Like I said, I assume that's from his hack <laughs> that I did not play. I think the game really doesn't like the on-off blocks. Yeah, maybe not. Can I- 
I can break- I can break these with Mario's big, fat forehead, right? Maybe not. I think I am going to leave this for now, and if I revisit the game on emulator, remind me to play it that way. So let's see, what else we got? Um... Rex Rusty Ruins, what is that? Oh! <laughs> Welcome to even worse, but I am Luigi. I am quote unquote Luigi right now. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, they gotta find- they gotta find some frames somewhere if they want this to be playable on real hardware. They gotta find it. Rocket ride flight. Oh, oh my god! Oh, but if you turn this way, it's okay. Is that the me is that the metal texture? The heck is this? How do how do I make it go? Oh, it's like the it's like the wing cap, except I'm an airplane. Oh, it's boot wing cap with boost. And I'm gonna hit the wall and die. <laughs> and then Sans Undertale appears to laugh at me. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm ready for this. Come on. Come on, there's gotta be... There's gotta be something. Oh, this is another one of your levels. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, I'm trying to see if there's one that maybe runs a little bit better, but... That was the one that crashed Kay's game. Oh, the other Thousand Year Door music. Oh, no, wait, that's Super Hurt for Mario. Never mind. I'm stupid. I misspoke. Uh, yep, don't run good. Don't run good. <laughs> but it's made by Saturn. Isn't there anyone in this game that runs at 30 FPS? Apparently not. Rex Rusty Ruins. Oh, I already chose that one. That was the one where I was Luigi. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how well that's gonna work. I don't know how well that's gonna work, there, boy. Them levels. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Mm. Got Donkey Kong music. Oh wait, the anti-wall jump, <laughs> the anti-wall jump area. Cause he knew, or she, or they, knew that I would try to do that. But yeah, so far, my, my, yeah, my main criticism, criticism of this hack is it does not run well. It does not run well. It runs, it runs, but not so good, not so good.
I wonder if there might be a memory leak or something. Uh, I don't know, because I feel like some of these levels just run bad to begin with. This is a very visually interesting level, though. Ow. Because, yeah, it's just, it's just weird to me, because I feel like... I feel like it shouldn't be running this bad. I don't know... Because I've, I've seen hacks run on real hardware that have more complicated geometry than this, or at least I think I have. So I don't know, I feel like I, I wonder where they're going. Where the frames are going. It ain't the reflections, we'll say that much. Yeah, if they if they can find a way to improve performance on real hardware, I would I would love to play it that way, but as it stands now, it does not seem particularly viable. Okay. So I think I'm gonna stop in a second, but there's one quick thing I wanna do. There is one thing that I would like to do. Oh, but I can't go further than here. Oh, yeah, once I exit the grass, I'm stuck in the bridge. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Uh, next time we'll be getting back to Thousand Year Door because I'm obsessed, frankly. But you know, I wanted to, I wanted to take, give it a little break. I didn't want to overload myself with it because you know you don't want to, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to overdo it. And uh, yeah, I'll continue Peach <laughs> at some point. <laughs> hey, Greeny, bye, Greeny. Have a good night, everybody. I forgot to turn my lamp on for better lighting.